Good afternoon, everyone, and happy Friday. So today we're going to talk a little bit about vegetables on a low-carb, high-fat diet. So can you eat vegetables on a low-carb, high-fat diet? And the answer is, of course, and a lot of them. So we just need to be careful about what vegetables we pick, but the variety of things that are appropriate for a low-carb, high-fat diet are plentiful. So, you know, one simple, easy rule of thumb is, look, if it grew above the ground, it's probably good. If it grew below the ground, you better check twice. Um, and that doesn't mean nothing below the ground works, like an onion, for example. I mean, that's a below the ground vegetable, but we certainly can use those, but in smaller quantities. So vegetables, of course, are going to provide a lot of micronutrients and minerals. Um, they're also going to be a great source of fiber. So we encourage lots of vegetable use on a low-carb, high-fat diet. But think of vegetables as a wonderful, wonderful vehicle for some of your fat for the day. So let's take a look at a couple of different ways some vegetables can be made even better. So for example, what I've got here is a bowl of kale. And we're looking for a quick vegetable for dinner. So we think about blanching kale, right? We might throw it in some boiling water. But here is maybe a better way to blanch kale. Pull out of the microwave my melted butter. So we're talking one step here. And instead of hot water on the kale, blanch it in butter. We're gonna toss it really quick. And guess what? That goes straight on the dinner table with a little salt. Perfect. Micronutrients, fiber, butter, and easy. That's important. Next thing, another popular, replacement for the spaghetti. This is a spaghetti squash. Literally, the entire squash just went in the oven. 375 degrees for about an hour. I didn't have to do anything. I cut it open. That's what it looks like. Spaghetti, plenty for an entire family to have for dinner. So here's what a serving would look like. About a cup. Now spaghetti squash is a winter squash, tend to be higher in carbohydrates, but an entire cup has about 10 grams of carbs. This could be worked in, and it looks pretty good here. We could certainly put butter on it, but wait a minute. Remember what I said about the vehicle for fat? How does it look with some Alfredo sauce on it? Perfect. 10 grams of carbs, yummy vegetable, extra fat. Next thing, my kid's favorite. Instead of spaghetti, we have zoodles. This is a cup, a cup of zucchini that was just zoodled. It takes just a second to do. And again, looks really good, but I'll also offer that if we dump a butter and olive oil sauce on it, which I just threw some herbs from the garden in, it looks even better. A cup of zoodles, four grams of carbohydrates. So when we're choosing vegetables, we want to look at the total carbs for sure, but we also want to look at the fiber. The higher the fiber content of the vegetable, probably the better choice it's going to be. And don't just limit yourself to the things we think about. I mean, patients will come in and they'll say, I'm sick of broccoli and cauliflower. All right, when was the last time you had a zucchini or had spaghetti squash? When was the last time you just roasted an eggplant? It's very simple to do. So think a little bit outside the box. Remember, the true center of a low-carb, high-fat diet is real food. And that means plenty of different vegetables. So don't just hone in on the broccoli and cauliflower. There's plenty of other things out there. A Couple of other things to remember about vegetables. A potato, a sweet potato, is still a potato. And carrots grow in the ground. They tend to be very high in carbohydrates and not one of our better choices. But again, be creative and there's plenty of simple things that can be done. Don't serve the family spinach, serve the family creamed spinach. They'll love it and it's good for them. So vegetables on a low carb, high fat diet, bottom line, eat them. 
They're wonderful for you on so many levels, and they're also a great way to deliver extra fat. So keep that in mind next time you're having dinner with the family. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, everybody.